So in today's incredibly interesting video presentation, I'm going to be unboxing a guitar. The guitar, which is currently in this box. I don't even own a guitar by the manufacturer who manufactured this guitar. So as well as this being the first time a guitar manufactured by this maker has ever been featured in this channel, this guitar is also very old, but it is older than me. So I doubt I will be able to play this today once I've unboxed it. Because when I bought it, I was aware in the auction when I bought it that there is a fair chance it needs a bit of work before we can get up and running. But I will unbox it and we'll check out what is required in this video. I hope you enjoy it. Now my cats are running in and out of the room so they may appear in this video at some point. A very sharp knife here. Now the guitar is in a case, I know that. So it should be safe enough just to cut this open. Plenty of packing. This hasn't come from Japan by the way. It's come from the UK. There is a lot of packing that's going on here. The case looks very new. So, here it is. ESP case but it's not an ESP guitar so let's get it open and have a look it's a bubble wrap guitar look a bubble wrap guitar so let's get that off So no bubble wrap, can you tell what it is, by that skinny headstock shape, let's turn it over, oh, it looks like a chunky neck, so this is a 1964 Epiphone Olympic Special. Nice. The headstock. Just to prove, I do now own an Epiphone. So, there is some damage on it, which I'm aware of. I spoke to the seller before he posted that he wanted to make sure I was okay with it. So, let's have a close look what the damage is, what we might need to do to fix it. So here's a 1964 Epiphone Olympic Special. So it's had a tremolo on there. Somebody look at that checking. That's Murphy Labs Custom Shop. So it did have a, a whammy bar at some point. It's now got a compensated bridge. I'm not sure if it had compensated bridge when these were manufactured. One pickup, one single coil pickup. Sorry for the light. It's about four o'clock here in Scotland and it's pitch dark outside. So. Big frets. I'm not sure if this has been refretted at some point. I mean, this guitar is what? soon to be 60 years old. Possibly Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Like I say, um, it's a big fret. It's quite low though. Low frets. Don't seem to be any, too many divots. Fingerboard in the cowboy cord area. And there we have the Epiphone logo. This was made in Kalamazoo in the Gibson factory. I think Gibson took over Epiphone in 1957. I doubt that's the original nut. So overall, for a guitar of this vintage, it's in quite good condition. A few dents and dings, as you would expect. One there. Now I'll get to the main damage in a bit. You may have seen it there. Some dents and dings there. We'll look at the back. 
one piece of mahogany, sorry for the reflections from my kitchen tiles. And what's here? Hutchins Music. Tuners. Serial number. No volute, funnily enough. That's just a joke for anybody who makes a comment. Oh, they didn't start using a volute till 1969 or 70 or 71. It's just a joke, folks. Just a joke. Chunky. I think that's... Is that replaced? Well, my original Melody Maker's watch, a couple of which have the original strap lock, it is plastic. So I'm not sure if that's original. Anyway, let's look at the damage, the main damage here. So, the pick guard or scratch plate is deformed, which I think happened on a lot of these guitars. Again, sorry for the light, folks. It's, it's dark here. And there's my cat coming in and out, though. It's dark here and there's not much I can do. So that is cracked and broken. So we need to work out what we're going to do here. I mean, the jack socket's crushed in there. It may be fixable. I may be able to get somebody to... I guess it depends how, how warped this is. Maybe get somebody to fix that. I mean, I don't think there's a bit broken off. It's just very, very cracked. I think the seller said he changed the, the knobs there. So it has a single coil pickup, a single, single coil pickup. An Epiphone Olympic. Basically a Gibson Melody Maker. In all but name and logo. So let's see, height here. Now it's not in tune, I just checked. So I do have a 61 Melody Maker, which has the original pickup, although I think it's been, my cat coming in the cat flap again. I think it's been rewound, so it's a bit hotter because these are originally very weak pickups. But what I'll do is, I'll take this through to my music room and we'll get it up to pitch and we'll see what it sounds like and then we'll take a bit more time to decide what our next move is. So there it is, unboxed 1964 Epiphone Olympic Special made in Kalamazoo, Michigan before I was even born.